Hi everyone, I just wanted to come on here and share my kind of quick, easy getting ready for when I go on my Zoom calls or I'm working from home. And um, it is a lot of stuff that I'm using, but once you get it down, you go pretty quick. So I'm going to get into sharing everything I use and show you what I look like after I do all my makeup. This is before. All I have on is moisturizer and sunscreen. And I'm going to start by clipping my hair back with these little creaseless clips so that my makeup doesn't get in my hair that is dirty and I curled it. <laughs> so now my hair is out of my face and I'm going to get started on my makeup. So I will show you as I go with what products I'm using. So I'm going to try to go quick. So it is 1141 so we'll see how long this takes. and. Um, I don't want to really edit too much out because I want you guys to be able to see how long it takes for me to get ready at home. So, by the way, I am filming in my kitchen because it has really good lighting. Um, so this is kind of a funky background, but my, my fridge is behind me. But this is just what we're working with, okay? So the first product I'm using is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It looks like this. Okay. And I don't use that much of this. Um, just like enough to cover my face and it does kind of have a little bit of a purple tint to it and you kind of want to rub it in and then press it in obviously wash your hands before doing this you don't want like bacteria on your hands um, okay and then the next thing I will do is take my um, it Cosmetics brush and I will take It Cosmetics CC cream in the shade light medium. It is kind of dark but once I put my concealer on it matches so I'm gonna put a little bit of that and I'll kind of just dab it dab dab okay and I'm just gonna I don't like to swipe I like to just push it in and kind of do small little dabs and of course, blend it down your neck. Actually, I think it will be fine for me to just look in my camera pretty much. Make sure I always go like this and go over my lips. Make sure you get all. I also always put it on my ears, and I know that's maybe people think that's weird, but my ears are kind of red, so I like to put it on there. <laughs> One time I went to go get my ears pierced and uh, or a piercing on my ear and she was like wiping off my ear. I'm not even kidding and I had makeup on it and she was like, Why do you have makeup on your ears? Like I don't think I didn't think it was that weird to blend it. It's just like when you blend it on your neck, you need to make sure your ears match too. <laughs> okay. Just if you put your hair behind your ear, okay? Alright, that's what I do, so oh well. Okay. That's I think that's good. Okay, so that's all blended in, and like I said, you can see that it's a little bit, um, it, it doesn't actually look that different in person. I think it looks like a little bit different. My chest is kind of red, but anyways, um, it matches pretty good. And then I'm going to take, um, I just started using the Tarte Shape Tape. I never used it before. I actually really like the e.l.f. 16-hour camouflage, but this one is nice too. I just do three little dots, and I like to do like a dot kind of looks like I'm doing, you know, little face paint. So paint your face like you would get it done at your seven-year-old birthday party and then blend it in. Okay. So this is what we're working with. I don't know what's happening outside right now. I'm sorry. I'm using, um, I'm not going to hold up the whole container because it's going to spill everywhere, but the Cody Airspun Powder and a big fluffy brush. I think I might have also gotten this at, I got both of these at Walmart, I think. And so you just really want to, I just use a very light amount, so I'm tapping a lot off like, oops, I just got it everywhere, but. <laughs> it's okay. You can clean it up. If you make a mess, you can clean it up.
Okay. Oh, I just put a light. I put my light back on, so hopefully you can see better. I guess it turns off after a while. Okay, so I have a little bit on, and I'm literally just going to dust it. I'm not going to dust it on my, well, I, I'd say not my whole face, but just, like, the parts where I get oily. So, like, out here, I don't really care that much, but, like, the T-zone and down on my chin, I get oily. And then, like, under my eyes, I put, like, concealer there. So, and then I'll just go on my eyelids, too. Okay, so that's that. Moving on. I am going to take, now I'm going to do bronzer and um, blush and highlighter really quick. Okay. So I am using the Kittenish Glow Palette, um, Jessie James Decker. I love every beauty thing that she comes out with. It looks like this. So there's like kind of two bronzers. I don't know if that's a bronzer. I, I use these two as bronzers and kind of mix. And then here's the blush and the highlight. So I'll go in with the bronzers first. And this is the brush that it came with. Um, so I just kind of... I don't really contour that much I just kind of bronze everything around like just like they teach you at bare minerals you just kind of do the three and then the backwards three and then always bring it down onto your neck and then kind of just go on your nose a little so your nose isn't completely white okay okay that's the bronzer and then now for the blush I'm actually going to go in with this, I think you say either a Luminaire or a Luminare um, blush, perfect color mineral blush, and it's just like a cream, and I'll just put this on before I do my other blush. You could just do one of these, obviously, but I like to keep, I feel like blush always like doesn't last that long, so I'll just put it on my fingertips and kind of press it in. I've also just used this as um, eyeshadow as well. Just kind of like wipe it on your eyelids. Look, I'm doing it right now. Kind of wipe it on your eyelids and it does kind of give like a little bit of color. And then after I do the cream one, I will go in with a um, blush brush, which this is like one of those, um, just has like little unicorns. I don't know. I think I got this in my glam bag or my Ipsy bag. I'm going to go in with the blush now over the cream blush and then it kind of just helps it last longer. And then I'll just make sure that it's not too blended or that it's not too far up by my nose. Kind of take my big fluffy brush and kind of blend it. Looks like this. Now I will go in with my highlighter. And um, again, I just got this in my glam bag. It's just like a cutesy little one with jewels on it. And I'll go in with that same Jesse James Decker palette. And just put a little bit on. A little bit or a lot of bit. And then that's it for that. And moving on, now I will go do my eyeshadow. Um, eyeshadow, I have been using this um, Tarte Whitney Simmons palette. It's really easy. I love this. Um, this is what it looks like on the inside. Like you can see, I've been using it a lot. And I just use this brush I think this is I think I also got this in my glam bag and um, in this palette I will use the colors snatched and tone up and I will mix those together so it's these two shades right here you can see I use that one a lot so I will tap off the extra and just go over my eyelid same thing on the other side And then same thing on the bottom. I'm going to use my mirror. Oh, you can't see if I do that. Oh, duh, I can just use this one. Hello. And then I always like kind of make sure that the end is kind of connected to the outer or like the top part that I blend it out. Just kind of blend it together so that they all make one eyeshadow. Like 
like I said, you can just keep blending if you want, but you know, we're on a time crunch here, so you can blend later if you want. And you're on if you're on Zoom calls, then guess what? No one's gonna see if your eyeshadow is that blended or not. So whatever. Then I will go into the color called Flex, which is that big one. You can also see I use that a lot. I will go in there. And this is actually considered like a blush and highlight in here too, but I just use it for, um, I, I have used it as blush and highlight before, but I just use it a lot for my eyeshadow because I like it and it looks really natural and nice. Okay. Ooh, and now I'm glowing. And I might go back up with that brown a little bit and kind of make sure it's not. Okay, and I like a highlight under my brow. If you don't like that, then you can use the color Cut. It's more of like a matte shade. You could use that. I like it to be glowing and going and glowing. Okay, so this is what we have so far. I forget what time we started. It's 11.53. I don't think it's that fast. But I think it's been like only a little bit like more than 10 minutes. Um, I forget what time we started. Okay, so I'm going to keep going quickly so we can hurry up. Okay. Next thing I will do is brush out my eyebrows. So I have just been using um, this Tarte Sketch and Set little eyebrow duo, which it has like a eyebrow pencil on this side. And I honestly don't even use that because I just use the gel to kind of keep it quick. And it already has like, it's like a tinted, just a tinted brow gel. But obviously you can see I don't really need that much in my eyebrows, but I just like to do it. So I just kind of like trace the bottom of my eyebrows with the gel. And then I kind of like to make sure that the tails, the tail <laughs> of your eyebrow gets the gel. And then I like to go up in the front and just kind of comb up a little bit. And then that's it that's all I will do and then if you want to once that kind of dries you can go in with your little eyebrow spoolie again which I use and I didn't talk about but you just you can use any spoolie I don't even know this is like some random one okay moving on next thing I like to do is spray my entire face before I start my mascara because um, just in case I spray it with my mascara I don't want to wait for it to dry so this is what we're working with so far and then I ha have been using this Morphe Jeffree Star Starberry Scent Spray. Um, I don't really, I like a lot of different setting sprays, so this isn't like one I'm, like, I need to have this one, but I really like this one. So, it smells good, which is partially why I like it. And it's a really light mist, so if you don't like something that's like, psh, 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 you know, like you feel like you're getting squirt gun to the face then you would probably like that one because it's like a really light mist and it feels pretty good so i'll let that dry for a second almost done and this has turned into a 15 minute video so this is not that quick you guys but this is just the makeup that i like to do okay next i will use the under sense this is from the brand senegence it's the under sense um three in one maximizing lash primer like this is crazy you guys when i use this the difference of my lashes. So you can see my eyelashes right now. Okay. Bar this side, look, barely there. You can see it more on this side, but barely there. Okay. Now watch the magic happen. I'm going to do one eye at a time so you guys can see how crazy the difference is. Okay. So I'm just going to coat, make sure I get one coat. And I actually do go on the bottom with this too. Okay, here is, again, it, it, it's, I just stuttered, it's kind of like a um, pinky nude color, so it's not completely white. The white ones I notice are like really hard to kind of cover once you have your mascara on, uh, when you're trying to put your mascara on after. This one's like kind of a nudie pink, uh, like it's a neutral color. It's not like stark white, so you don't have to really try hard to cover it. It covers really easy with your um, black or brown mascara, whatever you like to use. I use black mascara. Okay, so 
you don't need to like keep I just you just need to get like one coat over all the lashes so you look kind of kooky at first and then I will go in with the um, Arvon Speak Volumes mascara and it just looks like that so here's with the primer and then I will go on with my mascara like that is insane Okay, I'm gonna do my other eyes so I don't look like a crazy, but I'm not kidding you guys. It is really nice. This is a long makeup video. I'm so sorry. I thought it was gonna be fast, but now I'm having fun and I just wanna have fun and do my makeup. But it takes longer when you're explaining it, so once I have this routine, like when I do it, I can do it in like 10 minutes because I just go boom, 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 and then I get it done. Um, so. Anyways, do you guys have a side that like looks better with your mascara? Like, I feel like one side always, I mean same with your eyebrows too, like one looks better and one looks kooky. Same with your eyelashes, I feel like they both, they never like both look really good. I don't know which eye is my good eye. So this is what the mascara looks like once it's all done. Looks pretty good, okay, and that was just like, you really don't need a lot. Um. And then my last step is um, to take something and wipe off, like, your... I usually just use a towel, but wipe off any, like, makeup that's on your lips. And I will go in with this um, Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon and Trust Your Gut, number 10. And um, this is supposed to be... One of my friends, Katie, actually told me this is supposed to be a dupe for um, Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. So I'll just kind of use this as, um, I'm gonna use my mirror for this. Lip liner. Um, lip liner too, cause it's, it is like a crayon. So you guys can really just use it to draw. If you like coloring, do this. If you like art and doing makeup, get a lip crayon. I'm just kidding, you guys. I am a teacher, so I say kooky things. All right, so you could just end there, and I do think that looks pretty good. I'll take my clips out so you guys can kind of see all together. But I am going to, oh, now this part's kind of crazy. I am going to add um, a lip gloss on top. Um, this is the Buxom uh, lip gloss in Dolly. Ooh, Dolly Parton. And okay, and this is the final look. And I think it turned out really nice. Like I said, I did take longer than I thought, so um, this is probably going to be a long video, but this is just my makeup that I like to do. Um, it does help me stay motivated working from home. I feel like if I get cute and I wear like a cute shirt and put my necklace on and paint my nails and all that and do my makeup and stuff, um, then it does help me feel more productive. So hope you enjoyed this video and like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. So I have the Jesse James. Why does it keep turning off? Okay, you guys, I'm not really sure what's happening with the light right now. I'm trying to keep that light on so you guys can see better. Okay, I'm just going to have to leave it right here and try to fix it. It's just like, I put powder on and stuff, um, so I don't want my eyebrows to have all that, like, too much powder left on them. So I will just go, and don't, like, go, don't go, like, really hard so that you're brushing off all your, like, makeup around it. You kind of want to be, like, a little bit careful, but I do notice that I get makeup in my eyebrows when I'm doing my makeup. And not the kind of eyebrow makeup I want. I have, as you can probably see, I have really thick eyebrows, and they're pretty dark already. I always get confused. Is that fireworks? Like, what is that that's happening at 11.45? So it's been four minutes, by the way. Okay. Oh, I didn't even show you what I'm using. Oops. Okay, so I...